this thing after they get into the war, it's it's sad. It's sad. <laughs> you will cry. It's if a, you're horse a horse movie. Person. Of course, it's sad. Yeah. Hell, even if you're not a horse person, you're, you're just an, an animal, animal person. person. I was like, well, you know, if you're a veteran, you might cry too from yeah. the war and stuff. But if you're a history teacher, you're probably gonna cry and pick out the inaccuracies. <laughs> <laughs> so, a uh, German soldier took him and uh, and Topthorn to this farm where he's he's basically an AWOL German soldier. He doesn't want to be part of the war anymore. Yeah, he grabbed like the, the outfit of a doctor or something to disguise yeah. himself. He's like, no, I don't exist. I'm, I'm, I'm a doctor. Wee! I'm taking this yeah. horses too. <laughs> As, you know, Joey and, and Topthorn are having adventures in France, uh, <laughs> Albert... Adventures? <laughs> adventures An adventure? <laughs> really? <laughs> Albert ends up sneaking in to the military. And uh, unfortunately, you also find out that his cousin, who enlisted, ends up seeing Joey again later on, but he ends up dying. There's not a lot the horse. of not not, not, the, not horse. the horse. His his cousin ends up dying in war, uh, like just as he enlists, and he's un- Albert is underage. And still. He's, he's still, still underage and not supposed to be. In- yeah, and and they know he's underage. Like the the head of his his group is like, oh yeah, no, you're you're not old enough. And he can't really do anything about it, so he's kind of stuck there. And he he ends up making friends there, and his friends talking about his girlfriend, how he misses her, and then he's talking about his horse. Yes, <laughs> I miss my pony. <laughs> <laughs> so then they go back to um, to what's going on with Joey, and they're going through some really rough patches. They're they're pulling cannons, and they have these creepy oh. as all get yeah, out. They're really creepy. Partial horse puppets. And they're, they look dead, they look like they're decaying, and they're made out of cobwebs, and they have... the and their the, heads loll to the side. And, and they're, oh they're God, made so out disturbing. of... Oh, uh, God, They're made out of mishmash parts, like one of them has, like, a, a peg leg. And it's just really creepy, and, and it makes you sad, because they show these things dying. But the way it's done is, after the puppet dies, the puppeteers kind of get out of the puppet and they stare leave. at the audience and then they leave so it's like the spirit of the puppet is leaving and it's 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 a dead puppet it's, it looks like a dead puppet it's because just there's frightening. nothing there without the people it's lifeless yeah. really sad it is like i i will admit i cried a couple times dude i cried like <laughs> half the time that i was like in the theater i was like oh my god i just said they shouldn't cry and then you're like table up table up everybody else is crying okay <laughs> I'm probably we're probably seeing some things very much out of order just because it was just a, a mash of visuals and storyline. Um, we're gonna go see the movie and it's going to be like, oh, oh, that happened then. Yeah. Whoops. So we apologize if anything is out of order and if it's confusing, but uh, there was a very powerful scene with a tank that um, we we saw a little bit in the trailer for uh, for War Horse where the horse is CG rific, but um, there's a tank and then there is barbed wire and ugh, it's it's just painful um but it's it's very emotional and uh going back to the storyline uh albert ends up surviving a a gas attack on his troop um but he's he's very injured like he can't see uh and he's brought to um a camp where he's being treated by uh soldiers and nurses and, and all that and joey ends up getting found on the uh the war front on no man's land no No man's man's land land. tangled in barbed wire yep tangled in barbed wire just like and this is the part where you don't want to be in the first like three rows because the stupid stage lifts up like 10 feet yeah and the horse which is like 10 feet tall is now another 10 feet and you're like i can't see and it's it's because they they've (laughs) essentially made that level ground so that they can have so that they can show the trenches because either side he's seen by both sides. Yes. And, and they call back and forth to each other about tr- who's going to claim this horse who's in the <laughs> middle of no man's land. Yes. And again, they can't understand each other, but somehow they manage <laughs> to come to the, you know, they come to the conclusion that they're going to do a, to- a coin toss and they yes. figure out who's getting heads and who's getting tails. And it's just, again, it's one of those situations where you, you really kind of almost have to laugh, even oh, though yeah. it's a really sad time. Yes. It's thank God for that because otherwise everyone in the theater would bawling their eyes out, you would they depressed. would know. <laughs> yes, they would have no idea what's going on, but yeah, that was really funny. And they would have really amiable about the whole thing. They're like, oh, we lost, okay. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't seem to care when they lost. No. But I guess, you know, with a half-dead horse, what are you really gonna do? 
Yeah, it was just the principle of the thing. It's like, well, it's ours. No, it's ours. Let's flip a coin. Aha, we're done. So as he's brought back, you know, they're talking about, oh, we found this horse. We found this this horse that survived in in the middle of nowhere, but they don't know if he's he's any use. Like they basically just toss the coin just to be like, hey, we got something. But when they brought him back, he was like, you know, he's lame. He's bleeding. He's got gunshot wounds, and they're basically planning on putting him down. He's exhausted. He probably hasn't eaten in a while. The, they have this whole scene where they're about to shoot the horse, and Albert is hearing about the horse. And Mind you, he's been blinded. He can't, uh, see. he can't see, so the fact that he's able to realize that his horse is there is kind of... Didn't like, he make, like, this, like it was something or something, and he... Was oh, he was the making... The, and he made the, yeah, he the, made the, the noise, noise, and the horse reacted. And, and, he, and he heard a wicker, and he's like... Made the weird little <laughs> whistly noise again, and Thanks. the horse... He's like, it's Joey! No, don't shoot it! It, and it's just yeah. like, oh, it's like a boy in his horse. And you, you feel like, oh my goodness, the emotions, this is sad. I mean, I hate I hate chick flicks where you cry, but it's like with this... It, it's not a it's, chick flick, it's a sad, it's sad, a sad Tony thing. story. So uh, he, he ends up finding Joey, they're reunited, he ends up rehabilitating Joey while he's being rehabilitated himself. Then there is the coming home scene, where he's riding his horse back to his mother and father. The music and, and, and is, is beautiful. He now, like of age, like he's been in the military so long that he's now of age to yeah. be in the military. Now he's <laughs> just old enough to be in the military, but he's coming back yeah, from he, the he, war. He just anyway, the music was beautiful. There were uh, singers. Everything was sung um, on stage by all of the the accompaniment. All of the actors sang. The sound effects and the the visual effects were insane. The the noise like penetrated through your chest. You could feel God, the, the vibration. The cannon shots were insane. You, you were, like, cu- trying to cover your ears everything was It was very, very intense. The, the story ends, and you're, it just it leaves with you. When you're walking back to your car or the train or however you got into New York, it, it stays with you. Oh. And I remember even the next day, after we got back, like, we had saved up all of our money so that we could get these good seats, so that we could have the transportation, so that we could be in the city. And mind you, we're all poor college graduates. And the next day, all three of us were like, I want to go back. And Let's go back, and there are still tickets. Mm-hmm. Say, I wanted to go. I wanted to go play with the ponies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big ponies. Yeah, and, and oh, so I, they actually walked Joey through the audience at one point. Yes, they like up the stairs up. and then back down. Yes, and not to mention all of the gates were accurate. They walked, they trod, they cantered, they galloped, they jumped. Everything was very accurate. Yes, considering how much time they had to master those gates. Considering they only had three months. Precise as the original team, which had what years again? Years. Yeah. They had three years, years versus three months. Uh, they they Super. did not import anyone. <laughs> they should have imported someone. But well, they still have the show running over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't they? they do. So there's no so way they couldn't grab anybody because everyone's still there doing it. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> and and if you get the chance, I suggest if you go see the play, get the making of video. And on YouTube, there is a journal of yes, uh, one of the six. actors, uh, one of the six horse actors uh, from the group over in London. Like, he puts you through all the training they went through to do this play. And there are also some amusing videos of the Queen's cavalry horses meeting the puppets. <laughs> and they are so confused because they're like, you look like a horse, you act like a horse, but you don't smell like a horse. So these things fool even real horses for the most part. Yes. They, they even have a video where they, they took Joey to the races and he's grazing on the green and a little girl comes up and feeds yeah, him. Yeah. yeah, so the, the actors get to have fun with the horse and they, they all have like their own secret language of communication to get this thing moving and across the stage. It's yes, now we're I'll say that this game. one of the big things is that they can't talk to each other when they're on stage. Yes. So everything true. that they're doing is strictly based on them having done it so many times and having the, had the practice. Yeah. There, there is no here. Okay, now we're going to trot. Here, now we're going to canter, and you're going to start. It's, it's all based on you know, mostly you know being able to see each other a little bit. But even then, yeah, you're, but you're only, limited. Yeah, like yeah. their, uh, their uh, voice word for the lead horse, the lead person to get the horse to, to start cantering is like, <sighs> like that's yeah, the they, one they, they noise. Have noises for you know they're they're gonna make this noise, and then okay, you mean this gate? Here we go. Yeah, and it's just, again, it's it's spectacular, like, the music's good, the setting's good, the stage, the story, and, like, I'm, I'm really hoping that the movie ends up pulling it off well. And uh, after we're done, all three of us watching it, we will come back and we will be critiquing the movie and comparing it to the, uh, to the play. We can't compare it to the book, because unfortunately none of us read it, but 
Uh, it's it's going to be It'll interesting. It'll happen eventually. <laughs> guys ready to wind it down? Yeah. All right, so this is uh, Liz from Virtual Ponies with Heather and Christine, and uh, come back next time when we have our review of War Horse the Movie. Take Bye. care.